from KHG Arts and in this video I'm going to be introducing you to the Boolean Knot or Boolean Stitch. Here's a close-up of this guy. You can see how it almost looks like a little worm and you can change the length of it. Uh, you can work this stitch individually or uh, mass them all together and create fill work. Now, I would definitely consider this an intermediate stitch. It can be a little bit fiddly, so I recommend learning the French knot before this one. It can help your brain understand uh, the visual architecture of the stitch because you're really doing a lot of the same, um, the same technique of wrapping your thread um, with these little loops then controlling the tension on those loops. But they're eventually going to lay sideways as opposed to being stacked. So definitely give yourself some practice. It's always okay. I'm going to start by coming up from the back, pulling all the way through. In this case, I just have a knot for expedience sake. Um, and however far away I stick my needle down from that point is going to be the length of my knot. Okay, so in this case I'm going to go with a quarter inch roughly. I'm going to pull but not all the way. I want to leave myself a healthy loop there. Okay, and I'm going to grab that with my finger. Um, I always find if you are working with a knot on the end of your thread, having a finger you can pull that knot to the side with from the back so that you're not trying to get your needle up through the knot. It can be a real pain in the butt. Okay, so here I am. My next step after I have this loop is to come up in that same first hole, okay? I can leave it there now. I'm not going to pull all the way and I'm going to take this bit of the loop that's closest to my needle and wrap. I usually wrap four to six times. If it's a longer one like this one, I might go up to eight or ten even. But for this one, let's do four. So that's, let's see, one, two, three, four. Okay? I'm still holding on to the eye of the needle on the reverse. You can kind of see my fingers back there through this linen. I'm going to push with my pinchers on my left hand. I'm going to push that stack of loops down, let go of the needle on the back, and start to pull up as my pinchers here, right here, they're holding those loops nice and tidy, hopefully, and I'm wiggling my needle through. As I pull through, it's going to pull the excess of that loop. You can start to see the excess of the loop come through. I'll take my thumb away so you can see a bit more what's happening. There we go. But see, if I don't keep my thumb there, the loops are getting away from me, so I'll put it back in. But this is what it looks like once I've pulled most of the excess through, okay? So the whole point of that bit was to keep my loops tidy while pulling the excess through. This is when I feel it can help to keep those pinchers on the stack of loops there, but I want to start to turn this whole stack of loops sideways. And that last loop you can see gets a little bit loose. So as I turn it sideways, I can use my fingers. I've even seen some people stick the needle into the stack, just like so. And now if I pinch it down with my thumb, I can pull on the last bit of that excess, okay? And get it really nice and tight and tidy. That is a really good trick. I don't always use it, but it's good to remember. Okay, just pull the needle out. And now the last step is to go right back down in that same hole at the end of the loop. So this whole time you're only using those same two entrance and exit points. Okay? And there you have it. There's your Boolean knot. Practice, practice, practice this one. Um, you never know when it's going to get away from you a little bit. So it's good to build that muscle memory. I hope you found the tutorial useful. And... Please visit khgarts.com for more tutorials and embroidery patterns. Thanks, guys.